So I got really chopped up at the open on Tesla, but eventually at around 10, the breakout happened and I did the opening range break up and a really nice 920 trade on it that was very profitable and All right, guys, good morning, everybody. Doing the recap for today. Uh, market gapped up, very strong. Uh, um, you know, it seems that market is really holding the uh, lows that we did on summer, June 2022. So I got really chopped up at the open on Tesla, but eventually at around 10, the breakout happened and I did the opening range break up and a really nice 920 trade on it that was very profitable and uh, you know I'm still in there so let's go through the one minute opening range breakup so Tesla had a really horrible day yesterday but today gapped up with the market the whole market is gapping up to uh, two three percent so gapped up at the open um, so what happened here was uh, at the open uh, opened really weak and sold off uh, uh, sold off uh, through the weave app so I decided to take the opening range break down on it even though a stock was gapping down uh, gapping up you can uh, still take the opening range break down on it but it was just have to be very very careful because you know you're uh, trading against the gap and you got to be really careful on that so it went down I didn't cover anything and suddenly came back up and quickly I got out of it at the break uh, at the weave app because my stop loss was at the weave app and you know as you see a huge squeeze happened so the squeeze was so strong and the volume was so good on it that I decided to jump on it long for the breakout of this high of pre-market uh, you know I got out so you know yeah I just jumped in came down tested this moving average come back I added more and I really wanted to do the breakout it really got choppy and I you know partial a little bit at the break and then eventually I got out of it here completely so that was my second trade on Tesla unfortunately it wasn't a very clean one and then I flipped my position to the short again and I said okay this is uh, this is going to be a short this time now it really uh, couldn't go up down and then I tried to go down on it so what happened was that uh, you know it did count down a little bit I covered a little bit and then it pumped back up and I said okay this is gonna you know, just uh, constantly squeeze people out below the revamp so I got out of it completely so that's my uh, first trade that's my second trade a little bit missy and that's my uh, third trade on it and then I came back up I said okay now this one we're gonna break the high of the day I went long again really struggled and I said okay I'm done with this mess and I got out of it completely on the fourth trade so it was really really messy and I was really you know I know it by the fact that I'm just constantly getting chopped up the volume and order flow was on was really nice on it but it was really really messy so what happened after that so I just waited uh, you know uh, for about uh, 20 minutes or something eventually we went down again probably a lot of people went short again for the open, you know opening range breakdown but eventually we came back up broke the 252 I went long at 253 uh, added more for 254 see if we can actually get to 255 now that you know the breakout has already happened it did pull back and then it turned out to be a 920 trade a 920 trade is a reversal that the Brian is doing so a strong stock is touching the 20 moving average on a two minute chart and I added more on that and that turned out to be a really really nice trade you know plus these two ads that I had so originally these two were small you know I was thinking that say uh, probably you know I shouldn't have even entered them because they were uh, extended but eventually you know these plus this ad on the 920 turned out to be a really really nice trade and I got that and uh, yeah so that was it and then another thing that I traded TQQ was uh, that is up 10% now I tried to trade TQQ uh, uh, that unfortunately I didn't hold it Brian hold it much longer than me so you know the TQQ did a really nice ABCD pattern I went long sold some went long again got it stopped out well, long again, I you know got out of it here. So I did a couple of trades on it, but I wasn't just patient enough to get the big move on TQQ. And that's it for me, Brian. How was your day? No, it was <clears throat> was okay. I mean, I tried it. I tried a couple of longs on Neil at the open, um, right at the open. Took it and uh, sold some, and then it came back to my break even. So I had to get out of it, and then uh, tried it again, and then same thing happened again sold a bit and then it came back down again so it was kind of choppy and i kind of figured today it was going to be choppy because i like to call these hangover days when you have a huge move in the market one way or another the following days kind of can be a little bit uh, erratic at the open 
but yeah, as you mentioned, my best, probably my best trade was my TQQ trade. Um, yeah, took that with you and uh, I just, I stayed with it, although almost got stopped out, but uh, just been staying with it and, uh, and partially, and I kind of figure I'm just going to get out of the rest of it here. So uh, TQQ, so from about 2212 to 2267, 2270. So that was that was probably my best my best trade. So <clears throat> yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, guys. So today is Tuesday. Um, we're gonna uh, we have the who's the who has the uh, Wednesday uh, Tuesday strategy today. Um, I think we have an. Uh, uh, so what do you think about them? Uh, Peter Peter has uh, the uh, trade book strategy, guys. Uh, looking forward to see you in uh, Tuesday strategy uh, at on risk management. Peter has on risk management. Let me bring this one here. It's on risk management. And uh, yeah, so at 8 p.m. Eastern time, guys. So looking forward to that. And we're going to probably have uh, a live uh, trading session and the uh, and the webinar in Florida in November. We're gonna announce it very soon. I, now it's not 100% confirmed yet, but what we're gonna have is a full day event uh, with uh, live trading with me and a lot of our moderators who are coming, and then plus a couple of uh, technical presentations in the afternoon. So I don't know if uh, anyone is interested. I hope that uh, at least you know you know 50 people come it would be a really nice event. Uh, we'll announce it uh, very, very soon if you're interested. All right, guys, thank you so much and looking forward to see you tomorrow in the chat, guys.